Hi everyone. I hope you guys are having a really good uh, weekend and enjoying your time doing whatever you're doing. I myself am writing today and editing and it's raining outside so I feel like I totally have every reason to be plunked right in this seat uh, writing. Now the cool thing though is as I was writing I've, I'm pondering all these different things and I came across something so cool yesterday and it was it was a concept and an understanding that just was like, it simplified dimensions so uh, effectively and efficiently and perfectly for me that I wanted to share it with you guys. And it's an understanding of how we experience third, fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional consciousness. Because it's something that people ask and I try to explain and then yesterday I came across this and um, I'll explain more about that later. But I came across it and when I, when I came across it, I just was like, this makes sense and this will make sense for a lot of people. And so if we go into third dimensional consciousness and start there, 3D consciousness is what you are rooted in right now. Third dimensional consciousness is the world we live in, is running to the grocery store, is making lists, is drinking coffee, is watching this video right now. Thank you very much for watching it. That's 3D. Fourth dimensional consciousness is when you step into a higher vibration and you experience your life from the eyes of love. Now follow me. It's not just love of a romantic kind, love that is an Eros type of love in relationship. We're talking love that can be that. It can also be familial love, which is family-based love. Um, it can be agape love which is love of god source creator universe and it basically is any experience in your life that allows you to be completely encircled and embraced in an energy of love and love is often a word that we'll use when we can't explain what we're feeling and when something is so vast and so opening and sometimes tear inducing or Again, I'm even trying to explain it, but the best way I can explain it is a feeling of love, right? So when you access that higher vibrational consciousness of fourth dimension, you're accessing a dimension in which you can experience a deeper aspect of love in whichever form it is, okay? Fifth dimensional consciousness, the experience of that is about gaining wisdom. And gaining wisdom, the one kind of uh, not so easy side to that is that often wisdom is gained through challenging experiences. Experiences that cause us to really have to look inward. And we don't always willingly step into those deep experiences just for fun or because we want to. Some do, but for the most part, we're often forced into those experiences. So gaining wisdoms come from experiencing something that rattles the way your life has been. It causes you to have to look inward, to unpack stuff that's within you, to perceive situations somehow differently because you've come to a point where the situation or the event no longer applies and you need to dig deep to find your way out of it, right? So you can see the difference between somebody experiencing something from a fifth dimensional consciousness versus a third dimensional consciousness. Because third dimensional consciousness will repeat the same pattern. They'll keep doing the same thing, even if it's causing pain. They'll keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Fifth dimensional consciousness is when someone will see that pattern and stop and think, what is this telling me? What do I want different now? What does this mean about who I am? And does that align with who I am or want to be? So fifth dimensional consciousness is when you start to gain wisdoms from the experiences you've had and you look at it different, you look at it from that heightened perspective where you want to change it, you want to become more because you gained the wisdom of that experience. And this is where the world and the earth and humanity is really pushing people to go, is into that fifth dimensional experience right now. And in this fifth dimensional experience right now, a lot of people are having a tough time because they're being challenged to look at those triggering aspects. But those triggering aspects are triggering them because they are naturally vibing higher and higher and higher. So the thing that makes it shift into yet the next stage, which I'll talk about in a second, is the willingness to look at it without fear. 
is the willingness to look inside and be like, what is this telling me? What wisdoms have I gained? What lessons have I learned? Or am I learning because of it? And what do I want to change? That is a great place to be. And then what happens in six dimensional consciousness at that point is it's a balance. It's emerging of balancing that energy of love and experiencing the world through love, awe, wonder, um, connected, connectedness to something so much more balanced and harmonized with the wisdoms gained. And so the wisdoms gained have refined into a place where it's not so much um, still triggering, but it's more so recognizing if a trigger comes up, what did you learn about it? What have you already learned? And how can you view it through the lens of love? That's that balancing point of sixth dimensional consciousness. So again, when I came across that yesterday, it was like the simplest way to explain it. And to me, it made a lot of sense also in my life and how I have moved through different things too. It just, it kind of labeled them for lack of a better way of saying it. So I share that with you guys for now because I'm sure it's going to help a lot of you kind of understand where you're at. And, and we're not always just in one dimension of consciousness. Sometimes we move through different ones. Something in fifth dimensional consciousness might super trigger you and you might catch yourself doing an avoidance technique and running around in circles in the third dimensional consciousness. But you might have the awareness to eventually pull yourself out of it, right? Or you may be walking in nature one day, have this amazing moment of bliss and wonder and awe, and you might stop and recognize this is a fourth dimensional experience right now. I am experiencing this awe and wonder at a higher frequency. How amazing is that? And then you cement that experience in your being. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys because it just gives you some tools to understand maybe some of the things that are going on in your life, both good and maybe not so good. But it kind of helps you move through it because it just was beautifully explained to me and so I had to share it. So I leave that with you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and I'll be back soon.